Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. I often get asked what oil should I put in my moped, scooter, or motorbike? I'm covering them all now, see? Now, if it's 2T, two stroke, you put in motorbike oil, and that can be just basically your uh, Halfords or your, you know, your old ones, not your car plan or the cheap two stroke ones. When it comes to 4T, like this little moped here, scooter, motorbike, it don't really matter. Um, as long as it's a quality 1040. Remember, your clutch is separate from the engine, so it's just like a little car engine. So it doesn't really matter the grade, if I'm honest with you. If you want to put semi or fully synthetic in them, stand you, but a, just a good quality 1040 multi-grade is fine for the 50cc up to the 125 moped scooters, the ones that don't have a clutch in with it. If you do have a clutch, like a big bike, like my um, Tiger, like this beautiful big baby. Then in my personal version, pretty stupid to put some crappy mineral 1040 in there. Use a good quality brand oil in a sports bike or a touring bike or something that's worth some money. If it don't mean nothing to you, hey, it's up to you stick in what you want. But you're asking me, or you're searching this video out, I'm giving you my professional opinion. And that's just from someone who's done hundreds and hundreds of motorbikes, mopeds, etc. So 2T. Use a good quality one. You'd have to use synthetic, top of the range, twenty pound ones, but not your car plan, your cheap lawnmower, you know, your supermarket brand. Don't use them. Um, the oil stops becoming a lubricant and becomes like a coolant. It just it doesn't work crap. When it comes to moped scooters, put in just a quality 10, 40, 40 four-stroke oil in there. Just an engine oil. Car doesn't matter. Um, so careful when you use a motorbike one. I've actually got 20 litres of motorbike 1040, but it doesn't really matter as long as your clutch isn't in with your bike. And that's twist and go ones. Motorbike, use some tech quality, whatever it says, whether it's 530, which a lot of sports bikes are, 1550, whatever it's going to be. But for these, 1040. Now this one here, done the bike, tested the stick, and some people will never know quite where to find these ones. Now here's your little testy stick all the way in, wind it out, and it should be anywhere between the top and here, okay? Need to fill it, need to fill it, need to fill it, don't fill it too much. Overfilling your bike causes more damage than not having enough. Believe you me, it will blow things, just don't do it, okay? This was an inch over the top. I mean, what did the person think it was, 2T? I'm draining that oil out now, and I'm going to see how much was in there compared to how much I'm going to refill it properly. So stay with me, we we'll find out how much oil this bike actually had in it. I think it's got to be a couple hundred mils over, but we'll soon see. And I'm just going to put some fresh 1040 oil in there. I don't need to put these car ones in there. Another car one, that's not too bad, man. I've done a video on that, check that out. Anyway, there you go, another manual. My bike one, 1040, does all the bits for it. That is good as gold. That will do this ped perfectly. Let's get it in there. So I put in 750 mil, and there's nearly a thousand. And in that stuff there, there's probably another 100 mil. So 750 is easy, 300 mil is too much oil in here. That isn't good. It's black and pooey, but there's no bits in the bottom, which means there's no actual damage to the engine which I'm quite surprised really, the state of the outside of the bike. However, it is, that was a tiny bit. However, a lot better than what it was, so over a thousand odd mils here, so that's just too much. A testament to the engine, isn't it? Right, get rid of this, and you have to be down the dump. Don't stick it in the garden or chuck it anywhere stupid. Be responsible. So there you go, just a quick little update. I always get asked what oils to use, you know, top brands, whatever. Use whatever your budget suggests to use. I've used manual oil now in motorbikes and my cars, especially these little ones here. Not had a problem with it. I've used top quality in my race bikes. Um, Silkins, oh God, I never remember their names of them, but you know, I genuinely look at what specs on the um, manufacturer's list or what the strongly suggested. Um, quality oils, quality bike. Not such a quality bike, still use good oils. But with the mopeds, quality 2T. I've always said that. Anyway, there you go. Quick, quick video. I don't know if I actually released this because it wasn't very good. I'm chatting shit. Take care of yourselves. Lots of love. Me. Uh, I don't know. Isn't it funny in your head?
and it turned out so much better and I'm babbling and I realised it didn't seem that good at all. And then I want to use one of these interesting voices, you know, what oil should you use? You know, and people don't like that either. Um, and then I get moaned at for being common. Um, you mean ass, mate, or house, or decals, or decals, and scoot a moped and back onto that again. Fuck me. Good job this will never make to air, unless I've got no videos to release, and I might just release it then. Anyway, I'm going to clean my hands up, get rid of the oil properly, and then run this bike. Laters, potatoes.